I don't know, it's just a metaphor really for my life. A lot of times it's just the truck is there and then it's not, and it's in pieces on the floor. As you said, the next Spielberg, yeah, sure. I was graced with its appearance in my life. Um, one day, randomly, when Connor's parents were here, Tell us the story of Lego train plows through semi truck. So one day I was playing with some Lego stuff and I set up a train and I had a little crossing where I was driving some cars across and running the train around and I thought, hey, let's run the train into some, some of these cars. And I got, I had this truck that was made out of Lego and I decided I should run the train into it. And it was fun, so I like, I hit it and you know, I thought it was pretty cool, but it just kind of just flopped over. It didn't really like, there was no grand piece explosion or whatever. So I decided to kind of separate a little bit the pieces, but like still keep it intact. And then I thought, hey, you know, it'd be kind of cool to like film it. And so yeah, I ran the train into the truck. It collapsed. I had the video and I thought, you know, might as well put it on YouTube. I really didn't have any, I, just took it just for fun and I thought, hey, let's just put it on YouTube for fun, why not? Probably like a year and a half or so into putting it on YouTube, all of a sudden, I think the YouTube algorithm, something must have just clicked where it started recommending it to people and people were watching it and then all of a sudden we're here today with it having like millions of views, <laughs> which I would have never have expected ever in my life to have a video with anywhere even close to that amount of views. <laughs> I go train plows through a semi truck just for some reason. Captured the audience. <laughs> As the longest running member of the house and Connor being one of the newest, how did it feel when you moved in? Liam Zakovic was the pinnacle of masculinity to me, personally. Liam drinks his coffee black, he has a comb over, he looks cool, he works in a truck garage or something like that. And Connor made a YouTube video, like, <laughs> successful in different ways, you know? I just thought that once, you know, once you see something like this, there's no going back. Um, and I know all the guys in the house have been trying to get me to watch it for a while, but I was scared. There's, there's no cinematography behind it, no, no directional skill, nothing, nothing. Just like, uh, I, I, I don't think there's anything there. Is there any creative person I would like in Connor to after watching the video? Hmm. I'd have to say, I feel like it's a go-to answer, but Quentin Tarantino, due to his um, love of violence. Connor LaBerge, the name, what comes to mind when I hear it? Um, Lego. Yeah, I do still love Lego today. Uh, I actually used to just a couple months, well, over the last summer, I actually worked and had a job at the Lego store in Legoland in San Diego. So yes, and I still love Lego just as much now as I do before. I haven't crashed any Lego things together. I've more just been focusing on construction versus destruction. You know, time is, time is creative, you know? You could put a lot of, you could, you know, time is, Time is the essence of creativity, right? Yeah, like I think Connor's an unlikely, unassuming character. You know, you wouldn't assume it'd be an absolute viral mega sensation, you know? I've never been a big Lego fan. I was more of a Playmobil type. I would. I, 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 would, I would make the jump. I do believe that Connor is one of those people who was born with creativity. So I would say Connor took the root not of YouTube fame. Obviously numbers never matter, but I'm just saying, he, he would acknowledge that. He would fall down on his knees and he would say, yes, I acknowledge you. 
Dude, you really want to know? Yeah, I was like, damn, son! Yeah, I was, I was pretty happy. Yeah. I thought it was pretty impressive. My first thought was actually, I'd like to see a collection of what seven million people look like. I, I have been slightly overwhelmed, but also it's been really rewarding being in the presence of and living with just such, such an amazing artist. The truck has been sold off. I actually auctioned it off on eBay with the, the truck set and then also a certificate of authenticity signed by myself. A lot of people would think that I'd be getting thousands or millions from this video, but ad, you know, the ad revenue is derived from watch time. And since the video is only seven seconds long, it wasn't, I didn't get as much as some people would think and as much as I would like. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> it's funny. There's been a couple people in the comments saying this video is like so nostalgic or this video is my childhood. Yeah, it's kind of interesting that it's made its way into Lego YouTube culture in this fashion. And so, yeah, I just want to say thank you so much, my fans. Like, fans you know it's kind of funny to say that you know so but or anybody or fans of the video or of the channel like I get a lot of you know, good support and whatever like I yeah I couldn't do it without them and I, I also couldn't do it without you know the other videos that I've put out as well and spent way more time on but and yeah I've gotten so much great feedback from everybody in the comments and yeah just uh, couldn't be more happy with the way it turned out